Hello everyone, myself Amar Sononi. In this video, we will discuss about the very important topic that is the tolerance and its types. So let us start. First of all, why tolerance is required? Here, we know that we cannot produce any part to exact dimension by any manufacturing process. Means if we go with casting, forging, welding or any machining process. So it is difficult to produce a part with exact dimension. So there will exist some variations in that part. So that variations may be because of operator error, defective raw material, improper setting of machines or environmental problems. But we can make that part to lie between two limits that is the upper limit or maximum limit, lower limit or minimum limit. So within that limits that part will be acceptable to us. Now it is the duty of the designer to suggest these tolerance limit. While suggesting these tolerance limit, designer should also keep in mind the functional requirement of that part along with the quality of the part with co also the costing for manufacturing that part because we cannot compromise the quality of the part. So while selecting the tolerance limit, designer should keep in mind. Next tolerance. Now how will you define the tolerance? So here tolerances are nothing but the allowable variations from given dimension or in other word I can define it it is the total amount by which a given dimension may vary without affecting the product function so we have to not affect the functional requirement of part while varying the given dimension so that is the tolerance it is the permissible variations from given dimension. So here's some one example. Let's say shaft has to be manufactured to a diameter of 50 plus minus 0.03 mm. So here 50 is nothing but the basic size for that shaft. So upper limit is nothing but the maximum value that is 50 plus 0.03 50.03 mm. Lower limit is the minimum value. So here 50 minus 0.03 that is 49.97 mm and tolerance value is nothing but the difference between upper limit and lower limit that is 0.06 mm. So this is the tolerance value and this is the limits. So within this limit this shaft can be acceptable to us. Suppose a shaft is produced to a dimension. Uh, of 49.95 mm but that shaft will not be acceptable to us because it is not lying between these tolerance limits. Next types of tolerance. So here there are two types of tolerance dimensional and geometrical tolerance. Dimensional tolerance can be classified as unilateral tolerance bilateral tolerance. Let us see in brief. Types of tolerance. So here first is the dimensional tolerance. So dimensional tolerance is due to dimensional variations in part. Now the allowable variations of a size of a part from its actual or basic size is nothing but the dimensional tolerance. Now next is the geometrical tolerance. So geometrical tolerance is due to geometrical variations in part. So it is defined as the allowable variations of geometry of a part from its actual size or basic size is the geometrical tolerance. Suppose we have a part and part can be manufactured of a shape rectangle, circle, sphere, 
cylinder cone but it is impossible to produce a part to its true shape means true uh, perfect sphere or perfect cone or perfect cylinder it is impossible to produce so there will always exist some variations in its shape so that variations we can call it as a geometrical tolerance next types of dimensional tolerance so dimensional tolerance are of two type first one is the unilateral tolerance if the variation is allowed on one side of the basic size means the variation is allowed either in positive side or negative side then it is called as unilateral tolerance bilateral tolerance means if the variation is allowed on both the side of the basic size means positive as well as negative side then it is called as the bilateral tolerance let us see some example to understand that here you can see the examples for unilateral tolerance here 25 mm is the basic size and the variations are provided on positive side only so it is the unilateral tolerance here again on positive side only here again on negative side only then it is called as the unilateral tolerance but if variations are allowed on both the side here you can see plus 0.03 mm positive side minus 0.02 mm negative side so variations are allowed on positive as well as negative side then it is called as the bilateral tolerance next types of geometrical tolerance so there are five types of geometrical tolerance form tolerance profile tolerance run out tolerance orientation tolerance and location tolerance so there are basically 14 symbol of geometrical tolerance so under the form tolerance there are four types flatness straightness circularity cylindricity here the symbols are provided in profile we have two types profile of a line profile of a surface symbols are here in run out circular run out total run out symbols are here in orientation we have parallelism perpendicularity angularity symbols are here in location tolerance we have position concentricity symmetry and symbols are given over here so these are nothing but the 14 symbols for geometrical tolerance next see this drawing in this drawing this is the 3d view of an object this is the front view and this is the side view now in this drawing you can see some dimensions are there which are kept inside the rectangular box so these dimensions are nothing but the basic dimensions so these dimensions are not provided with any tolerance now beside this dimension you can see some dimensions are provided with the tolerance so this tolerance are nothing but the dimensional tolerance now here you can see for this diameter of the hole here the tolerance is allowed to vary on one side so this is the unilateral tolerance here the tolerance is allowed to vary on both side positive as well as negative so this is the bilateral tolerance okay here you can see the geometrical tolerance in a feature control frame so this frame is nothing but you can see here that is the feature control frame so in this feature control frame your first box is of a geometrical symbol so here this symbol is nothing but the profile of a surface second box is for the tolerance value and third box is for the datum so datums here is the a so datum a is nothing but 
the primary datum. So primary datum is that datum which is going to be placed on the inspection table for inspection. So here you can see this surface or this surface will be placed on the inspection table. So that is called the primary datum. Along with primary datum you have B and C datums. So datum B and C are perpendicular to datum A. So datum B is called secondary datum and C is called tertiary datum. So here how to read this feature control frame. Here profile of a surface, so this surface, profile of this surface must be within 0.2 mm with reference to datum A, with reference to datum A. Here you can see another feature control frame is there. This is for the position of hole, also for hole the perpendicularity is defined. Here you can see the perpendicularity. Okay. Now let us go next slide. Here you can see a feature control frame is there for position. So this is for hole. So let us see the diameter of the hole is 12 mm. So this is the dimension. This is called the basic size. Okay. Now in first box there is a geometrical symbol that is the position in second box we have the tolerance value so this is nothing but the diameter symbol this 0 0.02 mm is nothing but the tolerance value and along with the material condition that is the max, ma maximum material condition modifier and also the third column sorry the third box is of datums that is the primary datum secondary datum and tertiary datums. So how to read this feature controls frame? Let us see. Here the diameter of hole 12 mm. So position for diameter of hole 12 mm must be within 0 0.02 mm at maximum material condition with reference to datum A B and C. So in this way you can read this feature control 